let's take a look here at our new BFS mini stick worm. This is a two and a half inch little mini stick worm. And we named it the BFS mini stick because this little plastic has just enough weight for you to sling it out there on your little BFS rod reel setup. Uh, it's really easy to fish, a very forgiving uh, type of bait. You can fish it a lot of different ways. Uh, my favorite way is to throw it on just a little drop shot or wacky rig hook. Just sling it out there and let it sink real slow and just twitch it back. And uh, that'll honestly catch some of the really wary, really smart, heavily pressured fish. Uh, I have a small pond here that I'm fishing right now and it's really late in the season. It's kind of early fall down here in Texas and the fish have seen just about everything. They won't uh, really eat all the usual stuff that they will earlier in the year in the spring and summer. Um, this is about the only thing that I can fool them on. Uh, another nice thing about this little stick worm is it enters the water much softer and much lighter um, than a lot of the other bigger stick worms out there. You can see it's very thin diameter compared to uh, a larger, more traditional stick worm out there. So it'll won't make quite as big of a smack because I could tell you the fish in my pond, uh, if you land a stick worm of uh, kind of a standard size, a four or five inch stick worm, anywhere near them, uh, they, they run. So with this little guy, it's a lot stealthier, a lot sneakier, and you can fish it a lot of different ways. You can just throw it on a regular jig head. You can Texas rig it on a little mini Texas rig. You can drop shot it. You can use it as trailers on uh, a little spin jig. Uh, you, what you can do is, this really fits our little spin jigs well, but you can just chop off a little bit of it and you can rig it just like that. If you leave it its whole length, it'll be a little bit on the long side, but if you chop off about an inch, it works really good on our little spin jig. So it works good on trailers as well. Um, but you can Nico rig this with a tiny little, uh, little stick weight uh, inside the nose. I mean, you can just do endless things with this little worm. And we're going to be cranking these out in a lot of dual tone colors. This is the one I was using actually on the pond earlier today. This is the musk color. So pretty neat color. It has kind of some color shift in the underside of the body and kind of has a natural brown on the top. Uh, another good one is the electric watermelon. This is one of our more popular colors. Very stealthy little bait. Not too bright, not too obnoxious, but has a hint of sheen on the underside of it. It's kind of a natural olive top. And for those guys fishing stained water right now, we're fishing, or you could fish this pumpkin and chartreuse color, another good one. And uh, Cajun as well for guys who are fishing slightly stained water as well. And we're going to be coming out with a lot, lot more colors. This will, will not be just it. But uh, this is kind of the start, and uh, there will be a lot more to come. So go ahead and get yourself a BFS mini stick. And just because we called this the BFS mini stick does not mean you have to fish it on a BFS rod and reel setup. Uh, an ultralight, perfectly fine. Uh, it'll fish stellar on a little ultralight. Um, you could also make a little Ned rig out of this, too. You could fish it just like this. If it was me, I'd probably trim it a little bit. I'd trim it about a third of the way down. And uh, that would be kind of my little ultralight little Ned rig. And uh, yeah, great little bait. Really easy and forgiving to fish. Uh, when nothing else works, uh, literally pick up this bait and the bass will, will chow on it. Uh, it doesn't work just for bass either. Um, trout will also eat this little guy. Uh, it's just kind of the right size for a big trout to, to gobble down. So very all-purpose and very forgiving bait to fish. The new BFS mini stick worm. Go get them on our website at moondogbaitco.com. Mm -hmm.